Hey you guys, I'm going to create like a really simple look which you can try this Christmas wearing this red dress and I'm using a new product called Ami New like A M I N U and uh, this is a serum which uh, like has copper peptide uh, and it's really really nice and hydrating and you know it's like a beautiful uh, gives a beautiful moisturizing effect so I'm using that before like I wear my makeup and I'm just going to be like uh, using like the MAC prep and prime as well before I start to conceal my under eyes I'm using LA girl orange concealer for this and I'm just covering my dark circles around like my nose and uh, like areas which we should cover <laughs> yeah so like uh, I'm just blending it this is going to be a very detailed um, tutorial it's just for beginners so like bear with me so these days like I prefer to use a concealer instead of a heavy foundation so I'm using like a Too Faced like concealer in light medium shade and this gives an amazing natural look to your face and you know your skin looks like skin and that is the reason why I really love this concealer. Um, it's born this way Too Faced concealer. Do try it out. It's excellent. So I'm blending it with a foundation brush from PAC and the number of the brush is PAC 005 and this brush is truly amazing. It blends really really nicely. So you can use this brush as well. Okay, I'm done like blending it and you always have to take it to your uh, neckline and shoulders as well so that it gives you a natural blended look instead of just the face being full of foundation or like concealer and the neck having nothing so I'm using like the benefit cosmetics hula bronzer for contour this is a very handy little thing and you can use it even as an eyeshadow and uh, it's really really nice the con uh, the pigment is very very nice and it the, it contours so well so I, this is my favorite actually and I use it like in all my makeup looks so I like to keep my jaw really really sharp and I take it like below my neck I'll be showing you that shortly yeah as you can see I go below my neck and just drag it down so that it gives you like the sharpness which you desire this definitely works guys do try it out little bit on your forehead just above like you know your blush where you're gonna put your blush yeah on your collarbones as well I'm now like shaping my eyebrows with an eyebrow definer let me see which stick I used for this. Uh, yeah, I just got this uh, one from Nykaa and it's really, really nice. It's, um, it's brown, dark brown, and it gives a very natural look to your brows. I'm using the same concealer like which I used as for foundation and I'm just like taking a small beauty blender and creating a base for the eyeshadow just pat it as so Now I'm just using some loose powder. I think I used Laura Mercy powder just to like, okay, I didn't use Laura Mercy. I used my Hula bronzer, sorry for that, <laughs> to give it like, a, to use it as a transition shade. 
as i said earlier this is a multi-purpose uh, like contour or bronzer you can see and you can use it like as eyeshadow as well it's really really nice there you go so this is a small little pack which i just like it's from sty glow i don't know i just picked it up from a local shop and i've been using it a lot because uh, it really has all the colors which i like so i'm using like a white metallic shade as you can see on my inner corner just create a false crease with that it's really really easy guys and just take like this maroon shade and put it on your outer corner so after i applied this maroon shade i like realized that it wasn't really like so dark as i wanted it to be like it was not like visible at all perhaps because it was a metallic one so again i went to my other eyeshadow palette and i picked up a darker maroon shade as i'll be showing you shortly and uh, like i think this is a revolution palette which uh, like yeah i use the maroon shade and like i just blended it on my outer corner as so yeah now you can really really uh, see the color is popping out usually i have seen like with the metallic ones uh, it really doesn't like show directly on your eyelids you definitely have to put like a proper cut crease to make it like pop out so i'm just blending that with a blending brush using circular motions and i always like to extend it a little bit on my outer corner sorry for this really really awful face which i'm making <laughs> during the makeup but i can't help it i just take it up a little bit from the same eyeshadow palette now i'm taking this black uh, shadow and i'm going to create like a wing liner with it and i'm going to smoke it out a little bit towards the outer end uh, you'll be seeing what i'm going to be doing this gives like a slight smoky effect and it always works and it looks fabulous and i have seen like no matter what outfit you wear you know you, if you try this look guys i promise you you will not be disappointed and the focus will be on your eyes uh, which we always want to accentuate yep so i'm really really like trying to blend it out as so now i'm just putting uh, like uh, the same concealer on my lower lids this is mainly to set my lower like uh, the lower part of my eyes and also to give the edge a little bit of sharpness this gives a natural lift to your eyes and don't miss this step guys it's extremely important for you to do this in your makeup look it makes a lot of difference especially when you're going out for hours and you know your under eye like tends to crease tends to darken so we don't want that and we want our face to look uplifted and bright and this uh, step this very simple step like uh, gives you that so i'm using like the maybelline sky mascara and uh, you know this mascara is my favorite it's so inexpensive and the effects of it is as good as like a really expensive mascara the band is really uh, small and uh, tiny and it gives you a uh, long lashes so i'm using the elf uh, like uh, cream blush in cherry shade i love this blush i simply love it it's so easy to apply you don't need anything you just need your fingertips and it gives a very nice rosy look 
um, so I think I applied a, a little bit more so you can always blend it out if, even if it's more you don't worry about it you can never have enough of blush <laughs> so this is like the MAC liquid highlighter and this also like gives a really really nice glowy uh, like touch to your uh, blush and I love to do this as well but on top of that I'm going to be using the MAC highlighter uh, as well and uh, because I always like to have a like a nice glowy and bright skin don't forget to put it like below your brow and like you know on your nose and then on your like uh, collarbones these little tips and tricks like really make a lot of difference to your final look so now I'm using the Laura Mercier Loose Powder to set my uh, makeup uh, as a base and I'm using like a, a Nykaa brown lip liner and I'm going to coat my entire lips with this and after that I'm going to be using an e.l.f. Uh, lip plumping gloss and I'm absolutely in love with the e.l.f. range of plumping glosses and it really does the job and uh, you know it really plumps up your lips and gives you a nice pout I'm curling my hair now guys and I have naturally curly hair but I just wanted ringlet curls so this is a very long process so I'm going to be speeding it up so that uh, you won't get bored <laughs> as I'm doing it so bear with me So there you go I finished curling my hair and now I'm just like I use the spray and I'm wearing my jewelry and that's the final look guys hope you liked it.